What's up? Today's video is going to be an itinerary for spending time alone. I'm going to be giving you guys ideas and I'm spending tonight alone so you're just going to come along with me while I offer suggestions and it's just going to be like a fun chill vlog alone with me. You know who I'm really loving on YouTube lately is Samantha Jo, also on TikTok. I think she's my favorite creator currently because, I don't know, she just edits in a way that keeps me entertained and is different than like how everybody else is editing. She puts a lot of effort into it and it's funny. Her content is funny, so I've been watching her vlogs and working, but I feel like I've done enough work for, th for today. One thing you have to do when you're alone and you don't have a partner in life currently is you have to do all the grocery shopping and cooking, but I love to cook for myself when I'm home alone. Um, I, just, I feel like kind of cooking has become a hobby of mine. It's a way that I separate working from like the night off. So I'll like put on a good podcast and have a glass of wine and cook myself dinner. But before we can do that, I have to go to the grocery store. And I know some people love grocery shopping and going to the grocery store for some reason. I hate it. And it's not as horrible when I'm in there and doing it, but like the thought of doing it is the hard part. But I do have a tip if you don't like grocery shopping, put on a podcast while you're shopping. It just makes it feel easier and somewhat less mentally daunting. Like you have some entertainment and like, just trust me, it makes it easier. If you're not doing it yet, you should be. I told myself I would go to the store by 4 p.m. and it is of course 4 p.m. So the best motivator is action. And sometimes when I'm feeling tired and lazy, it helps just to like get up and start doing something. So that's what we're doing. Going to the store does not have to be part of your itinerary because that's not fun. We're only doing fun things. I usually would do Instacart and I don't really know why I'm not, <laughs> but I'm not. By the way, if you guys saw my video last week, I literally ended it by crying. Um, and I just wanna say that I'm starting to feel better, much better actually. Like I'm not feeling like I could just cry at any moment anymore. And I think making this video will help because while I was crying, I was talking about how like I just don't look forward to my nights alone anymore and I used to love cooking for myself and watching a good TV show and I feel like this video is going to help me like kind of bring that spark back. But also like I feel like when it's your either your hormones or your brain, like the chemicals in your brain, there's really not much you can do to actually be happy again. I mean, there are some things that you can actively always be doing to make sure you're staying happier, but when it comes to depression, like sometimes it just, nothing is gonna help. But I am feeling much better, feeling more hopeful. I had a good day today. I'm starting to feel a little bit unmotivated and unhopeful, but we're gonna, like I said, I'm gonna snap out of that. We're hanging out together and it's gonna be fun. So I gotta go, let's go to the store. All right, we're making our way. We are on the way to the grocery store. It's 4.20. <laughs> so we are making like a vegetable chicken stir fry with noodles. Should be easy enough. I usually make it with rice, but I have a bunch of these like Asian noodles, like Pad Thai noodles that I need to use. So I'm gonna throw those in there. But it's just a good way to get your veggies and your protein and your carb and all that stuff. So grabbing that stuff. And we ended up doing this one, like mm -hmm. the worst thing you guys ever said to you. And they were so good. <laughs> All right, let's put away the groceries and then the itinerary starts, right? You don't understand. Like, you're making a straight ride when you said that. Yeah. Okay. You know, we've had, we've had five years of talking on this podcast about... I'm really digging in the archives. Exactly. I was like, it's like, it's like an option. It's like, I like your vibe. We kind of, I think it's it's like so cute. Like, I love this, this book really cover. Cares. 
I love pink. pink. About so I don't know what. So Hopefully it's good. Not, but guys and Look girls are so different when it comes to icks. All right. Oh, where's the little... It's itinerary time. And the first thing you have to do for your night alone is something that gets you outside or active. So a couple of examples would be doing yoga in your living room to a YouTube video, Yoga with Adrian or something, going to the gym if you're a gym person, either just like doing a class or going to the gym just to like do the sauna or walking on the treadmill or doing some weights, you know, just getting your body pumping a little bit and getting out of the house. And this is especially if you work from home. If you work from an office, then I recommend going for a walk outside or taking your dog on a walk or taking your dog to the park. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take Willow to the park. I love taking her to the park and putting on an audiobook or a podcast in my headphones. It's like the most meditative part of my day where I'm not looking at my phone. I'm outside, it's typically beautiful outside and I'm just like, you know, with nature. I sit in the grass, I feel the grass. I give my undivided attention to Willow and it's just like, therapeutic almost. So I always recommend starting your night alone, doing something that's like therapeutic and meditative, you know? It just puts you in the right headspace. You gotta get outside and you gotta get moving. But before we fully get into the get outside, get active portion, I'm gonna recommend a couple of podcasts to you guys because that is the essential part is like putting in a podcast. Or I mean, if you're like, you know, one with nature and you like to just listen to your thoughts and exercise and like that's amazing for you but for me personally i always like to have a podcast in my ear or i've also been getting into audiobooks recently but like we're gonna sit with podcast recommendations here so here are the podcast recommendations number one i have currently or currently i am listening to the what we said podcast it is two best friends um they're influencers and podcasters and they do a lot of episodes where they take listener submissions and they react to them so like crazy stories like the craziest experience you've had with a neighbor or like today's episode is the worst thing a man has ever told you and it's just like super funny and they just chat and it's like good mindless listening basically you don't have to think too hard another favorite podcast i have is the bad broadcast she does a, it's just one girl her name's maddie murphy she is just very funny she's just like got such a great personality and i love that i think she might be my favorite podcast honestly but she does a lot of like listener submissions reading people's stories um i just recommend checking her out because it's just very entertaining and fun and another mindless happy podcast also love all of armchair experts podcasts i love dak shepherd so much and he interviews celebrities he interviews experts he does like crazy listener stories they're just all really good and i love them so much they could be educational inspiring or funny so check that out. Another one that I used to listen to every day, but I kind of have dropped off of is The Toast. Another just like mindless, like celebrity gossip. It's two sisters and they have, they put out an episode every single day. And the main point is to talk about the top five stories of the day, which is usually like pop culture stories. And the last one I'm gonna recommend is my own podcast. It's called So Glad We're Friends. I host it with my two best friends that I met from Instagram. We have literally, I've only met them each in person one time but we have such good chemistry and such a good connection. We could literally talk for ages until my energy runs out literally because I'm an introvert. And like by the end of some episodes, I'm just like, okay, yeah, okay. But anyways, we just like, every episode is a different topic basically. And we just chit chat. It's supposed to kind of feel like you're chatting with your best friends basically. And I recommend that if you like my vlogs, you'll really like the podcast. And I think that's it. Let's make an attempt. It is so hot. Come on. Ugh. You need to go to the park. Can I play ball? I wish that I had more like big grass areas to play at in our neighborhood. Although it's so hot out, like I don't know if I even would want to walk to the grass patch in our neighborhood. The problem with our neighborhood is a willow has been traumatized there because a lot of people with like dirt bikes and stuff drive around the area and whenever she hears a loud motorcycle she like 
wants to run home. So whenever we go to that park, she's kind of like on edge because she thinks that she's gonna hear a loud noise. The other problem I have is like that big grass patch is the only one in this like whole community pretty much. So other people will bring their dogs there. And if I get there first and another neighbor brings their dog by, it's always this like, oh, my dog's friendly, let their dog off the leash running towards me. Like, okay, cool. That doesn't mean that I, my dog's friendly. Like Willow's friendly, but it stresses me out to have her playing with other dogs. And I would just rather not, uh, like I didn't go to a dog park for a reason. I just want a secluded little grass green belt to play with her in. And so my park scares me because that happens to me too often that people just pull up to the park and assume that I want to hang out with them and play with their dog. So we drive like a couple of miles to a different community and this community has like several different green belt like grass options. So like if someone's in one, I can just go around the corner to another one basically. His hair grows out to the perfect. All right, we're here, let's go. Wish us luck in this heat. Ah. Bring it to me. Oh God. She's rolling in something smelly. It is hot. we are now ready for part two of the, it the itinerary. So in this portion of the night, you are going to do a solo craft or a solo hobby. It could be reading, but I've been trying to like branch out and do just like try different crafts basically. And I've been really into this coloring book. It's from Bobby Goods. And it is just so cute and like easy to color and it's just pretty, but the important part is listening to an audiobook or a podcast while you do it. And to make it more exciting tonight, I'm going to watch a podcast on YouTube. So I can be coloring and not having to look at the TV, but like if I want to look up, I can see. But like also if I'm not paying attention, I still like I'm not missing anything basically. So what you're gonna wanna do is make yourself like a fun drink, get your little solo craft or hobby ready, and then just like enjoy. I'm gonna probably color for like 30 minutes and then I'll start making dinner. It's still a little too early for dinner for me in my liking. I'm just having a glass of wine, but if you don't drink, I love getting like a poppy soda or a kombucha or something just like make a mocktail that's always fun or just like have a soda or like a lemon water sparkling water in a fun cup always makes it better i honestly <laughs> i kind of got the ick from one of the toast co-hosts because she like is very fiery and very opinionated but she was very fiery and opinionated against daisy jones and the six at first after the first episode like she was just trashing it and it made me so, I got really defensive over it and I couldn't listen anymore. It's making me so upset. But now apparently she loves Daisy Jones and the Six and like that's what annoys me is like, you have to fully, like don't don't come out guns a talking shit about something before you even finished it, you know? But anyways, I'm giving it a try again. Very long weekend without the toast of busy with education. Lecture, mm -hmm. lecture, lecture, educate, educate for Jack's affair which is so sumptuous. So we had no idea. No, literally, <laughs> keynote. Someone must have dropped out at the last minute, but it's fine. But other than that, I wouldn't be here today for this story. For everyone. It was weird, no? We should have been here. There was like a weirdness. Like we have fools here. All right guys, it's time to get cooking. We have officially entered our third portion of the itinerary. <laughs> I will put the recipe to this in the caption. So if you guys wanna make this, um, just know that I sub the rice for these noodles. All right, I am gonna have my laptop out for this because the recipe is here. So we're gonna first, 
long does this take? I'm gonna start the water to get boiling. Next, we are going to make the sauce. Okay. Saucy. Two teaspoons of sesame oil. You like garlic, right? This might get messy. This is the sauce. Don't want to spill it. I'll give you a better angle once I'm dumping everything into the pot. Ah! Alright, so we have all the veggies just thrown in here with olive oil. And we're gonna let them cook. I do not think this pan is big enough. But yeah, these are gonna cook. And then we're gonna add the chicken and the noodles in with the sauce. Local old folks, you just go there for an after in the afternoon. I can always bet that somebody can be snoring through some protein. So they came in and part of the deal was a subscribers and get a bump and the subscriber broke. Let's add a bump. Great, turn it off. And they were like, no, look how we were adding a, a quarter of a million new We did it through ah. a minute. Stacey got kicked out That's back in 2018. All right, guys, dinner is done. I am surprised the sauce went so far. It looks delicious. to the next portion of the night, which I recommend you eat, t eat your dinner in front of the TV and watch either a great TV show that you're invested in or that makes you happy and like brings you comfort. I will recommend a couple. Or make it fun and watch like an old movie that you loved when you were a kid. My movie would be It Takes Two with Mary-Kate and Ashley. I watched that recently and it is, it's still so good, but that was my favorite movie as a kid. Or watch like, just watch something that's different. So tonight I'm gonna watch Zola. It has Riley Keough in it and it's actually based off of a Twitter thread. A girl like had this huge Twitter thread about how she fell out with this other girl. They were both like strippers and Riley Keough stars in it as one of the girl, the girl that like is the crazy bitch basically. And it's like her most recent movie. So I'm gonna watch that if I can freaking log into my Amazon Prime account. Okay, TV show recommendations for you guys. The first two are on Apple TV Plus. The new season of Ted Lasso is currently coming out on Wednesdays. If you have not watched Ted Lasso, it's the most wholesome. Jason Sudeikis, it is such a good show. If you are not watching it, go watch that. Second on Apple TV Plus is a show called Shrinking. It's created by the same creators as Ted Lasso. It is just such a wholesome show with um, Jason Siegel. So I recommend that. It's such like, it's like a comfort show. It's so good. I love all the characters. Another Apple TV Plus show that is like literally the best show that I watched last year is called Severance. It's like if you want like an intense like mind tricky type of like you have to like be very invested type show. Another show Amazon Prime obviously Daisy Jones of the Six. That is my favorite show ever. If you're not watching it go watch it right now. And another really good comfort girly show that I watched recently and I loved was The Bold Type which was previously on Freeform and is now on Hulu. So another great, comforting, girly 
happy show. The first season is top notch, so good. So I go recommend that. I start my movie and the battery is dying on my camera. So gotta go charge it for a sec. And listen, I know that they're supposed to be flirtatious and everything, but not like she was. I'm a Christian. I see her <laughs> so we exchange numbers. The next day, she called me and she's like, I'm an ex dancer, I'm broke, I need welfare. And I tell her I don't fuck with that life no more. She's like, well, who do you fuck with? And I was like, I fuck with Jesus. Oh. I'm a savior. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do my dessert. I'm not doing it right now. Do you need to go potty? Bye. Can't let the mosquito eater in. Hurry! That movie is crazy. Anyways, I recommend Riley Keough's acting is like supreme. It's crazy and funny and like gives you some insight to how people live. Now the next part of the itinerary is like a little bit of self-care, maybe a spa, spa night at home, but like, I mean, it's 9.30, so I'm not really gonna do anything crazy, but I'm gonna hop in the shower. Um, I'll probably like do a little gua sha. I'll show you guys my current skincare routine. And then I'm gonna get into bed and read. Fun stuff. Very, very important step is like setting the vibe. I love this little projector thing, it's so cool. But like lighting a candle, getting some incense going, cool lighting, dim the lighting. I need to buy more candles. I'm like literally out of all my candles, but I always turn on this light when I'm going to bed. A little galaxy projector. All right, so here's my current skincare routine. First, I do a little bit of an eye cream. It's almost gone. I'm gonna be buying new stuff, so I'll update you guys once I'm, I update my skincare routine, but put it a little bit around my eyes because my eye area is very sensitive and this just like protects my sensitive skin from the next step, which is my Curology, which helps my acne. And it has tretinoin, cliaminosine, phosphate, acylic acid, that's it. And it definitely helps. But it doesn't seem to be like 100% like clearing my acne. Because I still have like some pimples. Need to go to the dermatologist. Then I do currently doing this Versed um, face cream which I honestly like switch my face cream every time I run out of one. I just like trying different things. I've been trying to do a vitamin C serum as well, but I forget a lot. And then also I try to do an eye retinol because I feel like your eyes are the first spots that really start to like age. So I have this versed eye retinol balm, which is kind of cool. It's like a balm like it's interesting but then I also have a Sunday Riley eye retinol and I like both of them very simple because if I put too much crap on my face it'll break out unfortunately because I love skincare but my face doesn't I always end my nights with Ollie sleep gummies whether it's a placebo or not, I don't know and I don't care. And the second thing that helped me fall asleep is reading a book. I don't know if I've said this before on this channel, but like my brain is always going a thousand miles a minute with like 25 different thoughts at a, at a time. But when I'm reading, I'm only thinking about what I'm reading. So I love reading before bed because it literally just turns my brain off. It's like meditating. Meditating turns your brain off and you just focus on one thing. That's what reading is for me. So I'm starting this book. 
Hopefully it's easy to get into, because if it's not, I only read books that are easy to get into, so just hopefully it's easy to get into. I wanted to do a dessert too, but I think because it got dark so much later, I like just did started everything later. But I'm gonna end the vlog tomorrow by trying this like viral TikTok dessert. <laughs> so we'll still do it. Um, it's the fruit roll up and ice cream thing if you guys have seen that on TikTok. But I'm gonna read and I'll see you guys for the, the viral treat experiment later. the next day and as promised we are gonna try this viral treat I don't know what to call it but you take a fruit roll up to strawberry should I do a tongue tattoo a cat And then you put ice cream. Everybody's been doing like a fruity ice cream. I think a lot of people have been doing a mango. This is a sherbet. This is gonna make my mouth like blue. And then you wrap the fruit roll up up. And the whole thing freezes. Make sure it's all frozen before I bite into this. All right. very interesting it like turns into like the it's like it turns into a lollipop texture it'll give you a very thin lollipop and you're chewing on it it tastes very sugary <laughs> it was, i was giving like popsicle i don't know if i can eat this whole thing i thought this was the only honest review because everybody else i've seen do this are like, oh my god, this is so good. But to me, it feels like chewing on candy. I feel like I'm rotting my teeth out. I don't like when there's too much of the fruit roll up in it. I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Okay, definitely don't recommend um, trying a weird dessert treat for your itinerary alone. Make yourself some cookies or something normal that you know you'll like. But hey, it was interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys got some ideas for having a little fun spending time by yourself. And I will see you again soon. I can't wait to keep making more YouTube videos. And yep, yeah, I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll see you guys again soon.